For decades, stress and lifestyle were blamed for peptic ulcers. This changed in 1982 with the discovery of Helicobacter pylori by Barry Marshall and Robin Warren. Initially met with skepticism, their findings revealed that H. pylori was the true cause of most stomach ulcers. This discovery revolutionized the diagnosis and treatment of ulcers, leading to effective antibiotic therapies. Marshall and Warren's work earned them the Nobel Prize in 2005. Their discovery ignited new research into this bacterium. It was a monumental achievement in medicine. H. pylori is a unique bacterium that thrives in the harsh environment of the human stomach. It is spiral shaped, helping it burrow into the stomach's protective mucus layer. H. pylori produces urease, breaking down urea into ammonia, neutralizing stomach acid. This ability allows it to survive and colonize the stomach lining. H pylori is microaerophilic, requiring low oxygen levels, which the stomach provides. Its colonization often leads to chronic inflammation and various gastric diseases. Understanding its biology is crucial for developing effective treatments. This bacterium's unique features make it a formidable pathogen. H pylori can lead to a range of gastric diseases, from mild gastritis to peptic ulcers and gastric cancer. Chronic gastritis is a common condition caused by H. pylori, leading to inflammation and symptoms like indigestion and stomach pain. Peptic ulcers develop when the bacteria weaken the stomach's protective mucus layer, causing painful sores. These ulcers can lead to severe complications like bleeding or perforation. H. pylori is classified as a group one carcinogen by the WHO linked to gastric adenocarcinoma and malt lymphoma. Long-term infection increases the risk of stomach cancer. Antibiotic treatment can sometimes lead to the regression of malt lymphoma. The presence of H. pylori in the stomach is often asymptomatic, but can have serious consequences. Understanding its role in gastric diseases is vital for effective treatment. H. pylori infection is a global health concern affecting billions worldwide. Over half of the world's population carries this bacterium with prevalence varying by region. Developed countries have lower infection rates due to better sanitation and living conditions. In developing countries, poor sanitation and limited access to clean water contribute to higher infection rates. The bacterium spreads through contaminated food, water, and direct contact. Children in developing countries are particularly vulnerable, leading to long-term gastric issues. Socioeconomic factors play a significant role in infection rates. Addressing these factors is crucial for reducing the global burden of H. pylori. The discovery of H. pylori's role in gastric diseases led to effective treatments. Current treatment involves antibiotics and acid suppressing medications but antibiotic resistance is a growing concern. Prevention efforts should focus on improving sanitation, access to clean water, and good hygiene practices. Public health campaigns can raise awareness about H. pylori transmission. Ongoing research is essential for developing new diagnostic tools, vaccines, and treatments. By addressing the challenges posed by H. pylori, we can reduce the impact of gastric diseases. The fight against this bacterium continues, aiming for a future with fewer gastric health issues. <laughs>